so tell me are you a coffee or a tea person I tend to drink coffee but I've got some pretty favorite teas out there as well too sometimes certain things just hit the spot hi this is Margaret Bird and welcome to color quest today we're going to look at two very accessible dyes and that is in the form of coffee and tea now you probably already have them in your kitchen at least one of them and the tannins in coffee and tea make for an awesome dye source one of the things that i love about using either coffee or tea is that you can simply save your coffee grounds or your tea bags so it is a kind of recycled or repurposed way of using food waste or food scraps for dye always great when you can mix those two things together so grab yourself a cup of coffee or a hot tea and let's go make some natural color with the warmth of a good old brew
so it doesn't really get any easier than that. Although I only showed you how to brew black tea, obviously in the textile samples, I wanted to give you some variations because you can use almost any tea and each tea is going to potentially bring you a different color. So as you saw in these results, I actually got quite a beautiful range from picking various kinds of teas. So get creative around that. I only showed you a few, but in fact, there are many more that you can try. I also showed you samples with a soy milk mordant, but in fact, because there is natural tannin in both coffee and tea particularly, you don't actually need to mordant your textile. I typically do, just great practice, and it can boost or help enhance that bond. So I would recommend it, but if you don't have the time or the energy to do it with coffee and tea, you're probably safe to skip the mordant process. So start saving your grounds or your tea bags and you will have a wonderful dye source right in your kitchen. And although using coffee and tea is nothing more really than brewing it, I have a few more very easy kitchen staples that can become dye sources in a free downloadable PDF, which you'll find below. It's my cooking color brew booklet. It has some tips and tricks for natural dyeing, as well as four quick and easy food source dye recipes, all of which I have video tutorials here on Color Quest as well. Next time, I'm going to invite you to come out into my forest near my home for some summer foraging. Having spent some time in the Netherlands this summer foraging for flowers, I was inspired to look into my local forest to see what kinds of colors are in the mix in these summer months. So I hope you will join me next week as I look at four different dye sources right outside my front door. This is Margaret Bird. Thank you again for being here. There's new content every Friday, so be sure to subscribe if you want to be notified when new video content is on the channel. Have a great week and see you next Friday.